Okay, so what we're going to do now are these examples. These are typical stoichiometric type problems. And what I think I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this video, um, this current video, to do the first example. And then the next video, I'll do the next example. Okay, so let me um, go to full screen here. Let's deal with the first example first. It says the final step in the production of nitric acid involves the reaction of nitrogen dioxide with water. Nitrogen monoxide is also produced. How many grams of nitric acid are produced for every 100.0 grams of NO2 that reacts? So basically, as I said before, whenever we're doing any stoichiometric type problem, we have to identify a correct balanced equation. Now, in this case, they did not give us that, but they give us enough information for us to determine that. So we have to look at this question carefully to determine what are the reactants and what are the products. So the first sentence says, the final step in the production of nitric acid involves the reaction of nitrogen dioxide with water. So what that tells me is that nitric acid is one of the products, and the reactants would be nitrogen dioxide and water. And then it says nitrogen monoxide is also produced. So that's another product. So basically... The reaction involves nitrogen dioxide reacting with water, and the products would be nitric acid and nitrogen monoxide. So what I'm going to do is get out of this and pull up another PowerPoint blank slide so I can write on this. And I'm going to write down the unbalanced equation, which would be NO2 plus H2O, <coughs> excuse me, to give HNO3 and NO, all right? Okay, so we have to balance this equation here. And um, the first thing I notice is that you have one nitrogen here, and there are two nitrogens on the right side. So I'm going to try and put a two here. Um, but that will also affect the oxygens because now I'm going to end up with five oxygens on this side and, and on this side I'm going to have four oxygens. So, how does that work? Um, mm, let me see. Okay, let me look at the H2 here. We have two hydrogens here and we have one here. So, I'll put a two here. And um, what that means, therefore, is that the number of nitrogens will now increase to three on the right side. So I'm going to put a three here. And then I think that's it. So make this look a bit more neater. Okay, so three will be here, all right? So I think now the equation is balanced. Three nitrogens on both sides, six plus one, seven oxygens, six plus one, seven oxygens, two hydrogens. Okay, so now the equation is balanced, all right? So let's see what else the, qu um, the question is saying. The question is saying that you're going to have 100 grams of nitrogen dioxide, 100.0 grams of NO2. And the question is asking for the mass of nitric acid. So it's asking for the grams of HNO3. All right. So we're going to start off with 100.0 grams of NO2. Well, let me do it this way first. So basically, we're going to start with the mass of NO2. And the first step would involve converting the mass of NO2 to moles of NO2, right? And we all know how to do that. And then to go from moles of NO2 to moles of the acid, HNO3. All right? And we know how to do that because we have the mole ratio. We have a 3 to 2 mole ratio here. And then we can go from moles of HNO3 to grams of HNO3, and we know how to do that by using the molar mass. Okay, so we're given 100.0 grams of NO2 to, to start off with, right? So what we will do, as I said before, we convert to moles. So in order for us to do that, we need a molar mass of um, NO2. 
So that means you have to go to the periodic table and you have to look up the molar masses of nitrogen and oxygen and um, add them up according to the formula. And uh, let me see what I get when I do that. So nitrogen is 14.01 and oxygen is 16.00 times 2. So the answer I got for the molar mass of NO2 is 46 point zero one grams of no2 all right so these units will cancel out so you'll be left with moles of no2 up to that point and then the next step as we said here going from here to here is where we're going to convert from moles of no2 to moles of hno3 which would be provided by these numbers here so the way we set this up in this conversion factor <coughs> excuse me is that we're going to have two moles of hno3 and three moles of NO2, all right? So that this goes with that. And then the next step is where we go from moles of nitric acid to grams of nitric acid. And again, we're gonna need a molar mass, this time of nitric acid. So one mole of HNO3 would go below. And above, you're gonna have the molar mass of HNO3, hydrogen, nitrogen and three oxygens and nitrogen is 14.01 hydrogen is 1.01 .01, and oxygen is 16.00 times 3 so according to my calculation this works out to be equal to 63.01 so let me write that here 63.01 grams of HNO3 and then we work this out, so 100.0 divided by 46.01 times 2 divided by 3 times 63.01. So according to my calculation, this works out to be equal to 91, how many sig figs? Four sig figs, so 91.30 grams of H. NO3. Um, so that would be the answer. All right. Okay. So the next video will be dealing with the second example that um, is shown here. All right. Okay. Until next.